Okay, nice question on standard form. Well, we know all standard form has to follow the same pattern. We know standard form has got to be some number times by 10 to the power of some number. The only restriction is that this thing here has got to be between 1 and 10. It's allowed to be 1, but it's not allowed to be 10. And this number of power could be positive or negative, whether it's a big or a small number. So, well, first bit you can get is 6 times 10. And how many times bigger has the 6 got to get to get to 60,000? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4 times bigger. So it's got to be power of 4. Same thing for this one 8.2, so we know it's going to start off at. If we start off with. 8 and a 2, and if we have our decimal point, it says it's got to get smaller by 3 spaces. That's what it says, it's getting smaller than negative 3 means it's smaller by 3. 1, 2, 3, that's the decimal point there. So you've got to fill it up with two zeros. So it's 0 0.0082. Last one says so work out the value of this. So it's one number in standard form times by another number in standard form. So what we're going to do is we can take the number 3 times 4 and then we can treat the powers of 10 separately. 10 to the power 6 times 10 to the power 5 and then we can work out each bit separately. So let's work out 3 times 4 is 12, 10 to the power 6 times 10 to the power is 10 to the power 11. But that's not written in standard form. It's not standard form. Why is it not standard form? Well, because this number here is too big, it's bigger than 10. So I need to knock this down. Divide this by 10 to keep the number balanced. I need to knock, that, knock it up by 10. So, really, my answer is 1.2 times 10 to the power of 12.